Fred Flintstone's Adventures with Wheels and Axles. Bed, Rock and Roll by Mark Wheatland. Illustrated by Alan Brown. Every morning, Barney and I drive to work. I'm glad a smart caveman invented the wheel and axle. Without them, this car would sit here like a rock. Together, a wheel and axle are a simple machine. Other simple machines include the wedge, pulley, inclined plane, lever, and screw. Come on, Barney! Let's roll! We don't want to be late for work! All set, Fred. Simple machines make life so much easier, Barney. How's that, Fred? They help us do work. For example, we could walk to our jobs. If we walk, we have to do all the work. But when we use a car, the wheels and axles make the trip easier. Here at the quarry, Mr. Slate gives us a lot of work to do. But the wheels and axles on these wheelbarrows make our work easier. The wheel turns around the axle. Together, a wheel and axle help us do work while using less effort. Now that's the Fred Flintstone style. Two wheels on a motorcycle help people get back and forth to work. Hey, can we get one of those fancy machines? Simple machines are all about force. A force is a push or pull. I could move this boulder by pushing it along the ground, but I would have to use a lot of force. When I put the boulder in my wheelbarrow, I don't have to use as much force. The wheel and axle make the work much easier. Let me tell you about wheels and friction, Barney. Friction is a force that slows down motion. It happens when two things rub together or slide past each other. Sure, Fred. Just look at the poor dino. It's working hard to overcome friction. But the second one isn't working as hard. That's because wheels reduce friction. Wheels on a dump truck make it easy to move tons of earth and rock. Rocco's cart also helps make work easier to do. The cart and our wheelbarrows have wheels. The wheels cut down on friction when we move the rocks. When Rocco uses a cart, he doesn't have to work as hard. Look, Barney. Clay and Dusty are using a wheel to open a valve. The valve in that pipe is an axle. It takes a lot of force to turn that axle. But a big wheel makes it much easier to turn. Why is that, Fred? That's an easy one, Barney. The wheel increases the force on the axle. Ah, the end of the workday. But simple machines keep on working, right, Barney? Just look at that wagon. A wagon is a bucket resting on axles and wheels. When the dinosaur pulls the hitch, the wheels begin to move. As the wheels turn, the wagon moves. How's that for simple? Believe it or not, a doorknob is also a type of wheel and axle. Driving on a highway, you can see wheels and axles everywhere. Take a look at that delivery truck, Barney. It must be hauling a heavy load, Fred. The truck's wheels and axles help it to haul heavy loads. The wheels and axles make it possible to carry loads with less effort. Big wheels enable tractors to do lots of difficult farm work. Hey, buddy, that's a big wheel for a big rig. Sure is. Trucks have bigger steering wheels than cars. It takes more force to turn a truck. The larger the steering wheel, the less force a driver needs to use to turn the wheels. Do you know where else we see big steering wheels, Barney? On school buses and sailboats, Fred. Some big wheels are used to move boats up a river. 
from hauling rocks to bringing us home, wheels and axles help us with all kinds of work. Wheels and axles can also help us have fun, but be careful, Pebbles. The force of gravity is always pulling on you. If your wheels don't have brakes, you can't stop. I've got you, Pebbles. Wheels move us back and forth to work. They roll us down the driveway. They even give us a lift, especially when we step on them. But gravity always brings us back down. Wilma, who left the roller skates lying around? Wheels can be found on all types of fun things, such as this skateboard. Dinner, Fred. Wheels and axles make life easier. Wheels reduce friction. When wheels and axles are combined, they make small forces bigger. We use wheels and axles to get around. We also use them to move heavy objects over long distances. Sometimes, however, it's nice to just use your feet. Yabba dabba doo!